guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bloom update for the month of May. Now, I didn't record everything, so I have everything in a corner in my living room. So I'm going to show you this little bloom nook that I made. And I'm going to show you a couple of the orchids that I have in bloom for last month. And I'm going to show you what's going on in the collection. So jumping in, the first orchid that I have in bloom is my Phalaenopsis Sogo Vivian Leaf's Edge. This is a very reliable bloomer. I recently repotted it last month and it's doing really well in bark and uh, sphagnum moss. The next orchid that I have in bloom, and I apologize for the lighting, it's kind of hard to get the blooms in focus when it's um, sunny outside, but this is the Phalaenopsis Chang Gia Lady. This has been in bloom for about five, six months continuously, and it smells like juicy fruit. That's a really nice one. The next orchid in bloom is this dendrobium that I showed you last month. This one's an unregistered hybrid. This is a really big dendrobium. It's starting to get bigger on me, but what I really like about it is that it is fragrant, which you don't find a lot with dendrobium orchids, but it's getting quite tall. I think it's gonna outgrow some of my shelves, but all good. I like this one and it smells really delicious. Next orchid in bloom is the Miltonia Sunset. I haven't seen this in bloom in about a year, so I was really excited to see it. And I just love the colors on this. It's yellow and pink and just beautiful. It's got a really nice um, kind of subtle fragrance as well, but I'm always happy to see this bloom. I got to repot it soon and I'll walk you guys through that in the next couple of weeks. And I have a first time bloomer here that I'm about to show you. And this one is my Epilalio Catlia Jackie Bright Hilo Stars. I got this as a bag baby about a year and a half, maybe two years ago actually. And it's blooming for the first time in a pretty big way. Um, it pushed out this first spike and then it pushed out three other spikes behind it. So it's gonna give me quite a show in the next couple of weeks. I'm told it's very fragrant. Someone said it smells like satsuma. Another person said it smells like citrus. I look forward to seeing it and I, rather, I look forward to smelling it. Seeing it, it's just beautiful. It's very pretty. I like the red detailing on the inside of those flowers. Let me take you a little closer so you could see it actually. Isn't it beautiful? It starts off kind of like greenish and then it fades to a brighter uh, yellow. Definitely a keeper in my collection. So this is my little bloom corner. I put a couple further down as well. This one's my Prada Green Deluxe, which you guys have seen in the past. I'm gonna show you a video on it a little bit closer with better lighting um, as I'm showing you the blooms individually. But this one's really nice, smells like limes. Very, very pretty orchid, very, very nice. Um, a second time that it blooms for me and hopefully I get more blooms in the next few months. You guys have seen these. This is the Dendrobium New Hope Mini. It's been in bloom about three months. It's starting to fade as you can see, but this one has lasted a really long time. Really cute little Dendrobium orchid. And I showed this uh, Phalaenopsis to you guys last month. It's still in bloom, super fragrant, really nice. Um, in the morning, I could smell all these flowers when I wake up, so it's a treat to be honest. I love, um, when we're heading into summer, there's so much that's in bloom. So it's really nice to just put these in a corner, wake up and see them, smell them. They're really pretty. I also wanna show you a couple of other plants that I have um, outside of my orchids that I have hanging. So I have Hoya and I have Pothos plants that are just hanging here. This one is my Marble Queen. I've had it for about two years and it's growing nicely. I got it pretty small. And then I apologize for the lighting. It's just really tough with the sun. But this one is my Hoya Pubicalix Splash. It started as a smaller cutting and it's just growing like a weed. And it has some tendrils that have just been spiraling out. So I've wrapped it inside in the middle and I saw a peduncle. So I hope to see blooms on this soon, but it's growing really nicely. And I love the splash on this one. Hoya have really grown on me and I hang them in my kitchen, in my bedroom, in my living room. Um, so I've been moving them away from my grow shelves and onto my windows. But um, yeah, they seem to be happy. This is an east facing window. Let me show you a couple of others. 
So in my kitchen, I have a couple more Hoya. So this one is my Hoya Crimson Princess. This is a south facing window, but there's buildings in the way so it doesn't get too much sun. It gets a lot of brightness, but it's growing just fine there. Um, and any direct sun is very brief. And this one is the Hoya Shepherdii. This one is blooming. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. It's the first time it blooms for me. This started off as like maybe a couple of leaves. Maybe I had like four leaves when I got it about a year and a half ago, and now it is blooming. So I wanted to show you guys this. It's fragrant. It smells kind of like, like baby powder. It reminds me of my Croniana Super Silver. It's very strong, so at night and even in the morning, you could smell it, especially when I first wake up. Moving on to my bloom updates. These were the blooms that I recorded. This is my uh, Practivola Key Lime Stars. I bought it as a Vonera Key Lime Stars. This is really, really vigorous. I got it as like three little growths um, three years ago. It grows like a weed. It blooms off every single new growth. Sometimes I get four blooms. Sometimes I get three blooms. It's in Lekka right now. And I'm kind of dreading repotting it because it is very tight in there. So it's going to be very hard to remove off those Lekka balls. Um, but it's got another new growth coming in too, actually. I think actually a third in the back. So I got to get this into a new pot. It's not very fragrant. It kind of smells like sunscreen. I wish it had like a nicer kind of fragrance, but it smells like sunscreen both at night and during the day, which is interesting. But just given that it blooms so much, I've kept it in my collection. I think it's really cute. Okay, now this one I showed you already, but I wanted to do a close-up on it because I just find it so beautiful. So this one's the BLC Prada Green Deluxe. And I got this from Carmela Orchids about three years ago. It's the second time that it blooms for me. And what I love about it is that very frilly lip. So this orchid has uh, the Rincolalia digbiana in it, which has a really, really, really frilly lip. And you could kind of see it in the lip here. It's in the parentage. So that's really nice. It smells like limes. A lot of people say that this smells like lemons. For me, it smells like limes. Very, very nice. Um, very potent. So I have it in my living room. When I wake up in the morning, this one is probably the one that smells fragrant the most. But speaking of getting this from Carmela, I'm thinking about doing a three-year update for all of those orchids that I got. So in the next couple of weeks, I'll show you from getting them to now. So stay tuned for that. The next orchid in bloom is my Brasso Lelio Catlia Paola Spots. You guys see this orchid all the time and it's because it is always blooming. It's just like my, um, my Key Lime Stars. Every new growth has new blooms. I got this two years ago from Sunset Valley Orchids. There are some orchids that I got from that haul that have not bloomed yet, yet this has bloomed. I can't even count how many times. Every single growth, it's a new bloom. I'm also scared to repot this because it's in that LECA and the LECA just adheres to the roots. And when I touch that pot that it's in, it's just, there's no give. It's like super, super tight in there. So it's going to be a struggle. So wish me luck. <laughs> I got to get it out. I'm probably going to divide it, give half of it to my mom, just given it's so compact and vigorous. But this is one of my favorite Richard Mueller hybrids. Very fragrant as well. Next up is a first time bloomer. This one's the Brasso Lelio Catlia Volcano Delight Volcano Queen. This took me three years to bloom, guys. I thought this would never bloom. I'm going to do that update from Carmela Orchids very soon just because I saw this and I'm like, let me give an update. I still have one orchid from that haul that has not bloomed yet, and it's been three stinking years, so hopefully soon. But I find when my orchids start blooming, they bloom in a big way. So look at the buds in the back. It didn't just give me a set of bloom, it gave me a pair of blooms, and there's also another sheath in the back, so it'd be interesting if I could get a third bloom as well, so we'll see about that. But this one's beautiful, it's a nice salmon color. It smells very sweet, like candy. So sometimes I find Catlia fragrances hard to kind of share, but this one isn't as floral, it's more like perfumey and sweet, kind of like cotton candy, which is nice. 
Next up, we have the Patanera Dick Smith Paradise, another one I got from Carmelo. So you're going to see a lot of repeats in my um, video, but I'm going to show you some befores and after um, from when I got it. This one's a really cool flower. It's got really nice colors. Unfortunately, this one came out a little wonky. So look at the lip here. It kind of grew on the inside. So this one isn't a perfect bloom. Um, hopefully the next time it blooms, it resolves itself because it is a little bit wonky. This orchid doesn't bloom a ton for me. It blooms maybe twice a year max. Um, one year I just got blooms once. So, I mean, I think this is the third time actually that it blooms for me altogether. So it's not as vigorous as some of the other hybrids that I have that are um, those Hawaiian hybrids, but hopefully over time I'll get more blooms. This is another one that's fragrant. Um, another one not super floral, um, but nice, very nice. So that is it for the month of May. There were a couple of blooms that I completely didn't record, but I'll do better for next month. And I'm actually revamping my grow space. So I'm moving some things around and I'm changing it up a bit. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to show you how I change the grow space and um, how I'm accommodating everything, my Hoya, my orchids, all of my house plants. So once I'm done, I will show you an update. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.